to little Johnny now, who's grown up to big Johnny and now runs a business. He's successful. Or maybe it's Jesse, as in Wentland, who won the first moto. Ooh, Yamaha, man, 73, start. shooting out of the gate. That's Brandon Scharr. Oh, that's he trouble. wants this moto win after missing it by half of a second in the first moto, and he's got the Stasek whole shot now. Scharr reminds me, he looks like Justin Cooper. Just a little dude, diminutive, feisty. There's uh, the number 47 of Robbie Marshall right there with him as well. And look at that, we already have a challenge for the lead. Robbie Marshall. Marshall. Out of mass. Here we go. Marshall's going to go outside, bro. Wicked times. Killer line, bro. Looking good through the Ten Commandments. Through the curves. Robbie Marshall. Bust those curves, bro. Marshall's been there, done it in the sport of great pro privateer, and then actually made a living building tracks for a while. Lived near me there in North Carolina for a bit. I think he's back home in the New England area these days. So Brandon Shar with the whole shot, leading them around. Ex-pro as well. Wentland is quickly moving up toward the front also. The number 81, 81 of Luke Vonlinger. So all the players there, it yeah. appears they have all gotten off the gate nice and clean. And they don't really know the hot lines. This track's changed so many times. They're going to have to ride a couple laps before they realize, okay, inside is much slower here or outside is way faster there. Yeah, let's think about that a little bit, how you're racing at different times of the day. That's kind of the idea of Loretta's and how that throws right. the big curveball. You would like to think they have actually watched a few races and scouted it out just enough, maybe even on their phone. They can sit back and watch Racer TV. Racer TV, yeah, you're right. Got some service. And have a way to do that. Old back shot in the day. man, the number 73, Brandon yeah. Scherer out of Hammer, South Carolina. Got the Hammer down. They are dancing in the street right now. Hammer. Got a ticker tape parade planned for him when he comes back. Looks like Jesse Wentland back in about fifth. Okay, plenty of time, man. These guys are crafty and they won't just show all their cards just yet. Give us the bike color and the number there for Wentland so everybody knows who to follow. Jesse Wentland is number 26 on the Honda. All right, 26 on the Honda. And as we always stress here, remember, these are not races that people are watching every week back home. This is a once-a-year amateur event, so we try to identify the numbers and colors as much as we can. So Wentland back Some free in advice for the apprentices up here. Wentland back in the number eight spot. There's Robbie Marshall. Did Wentland actually lose ground? Yeah, yeah, he did. Something must have happened there. He's in eighth now when he came across the stripe. So, so. he was fifth. Went back to eighth. Wentland's got some work to do. He's got to get around Jesse Bort. Randy Woodring is sixth. John Murray Barr fifth. So that's what he's got to do. The rider we're looking at right now, 39, is Brock Peterson. And Brock Peterson is rolling up on Ravi Marshall. Well, I'll tell you what, Brandon Shera has his pick of the litter right now. He has got a clear track, clear win. He can just set and sail, and he better go. There's these, these last third. three or four laps are really where this thing changes. And if you remember, Shera was the only guy quadding out of the whoops, I believe, right? Or at the Ten Commandments. Uh, yeah, that's what you said. At least the first one he's doing it. Yeah. I don't know if anybody else did it after. I don't think I so. I have seen it. I have not seen no. it. See the red Honda 26. That is your first moto winner, Wentland. So he's got some serious work to do. There he is on the outside. He's working it, Kevin. He's making passes. Yeah, he's doing it, and he has to do this. He has to get up inside the top three. You want to be in that championship run. There's the 47 of Marshall, and Wentland has no, Wentland on the... I, I think Marshall must have made a mistake because Wentland yeah, went from about eight. Back. Marshall was third. Yeah, we did some flip-flopping here. So. Yeah. The championship now just all kind of getting shooken up here. So Wentland on that 26 did what he needed to do. He just put three riders behind wow. him in about two turns. Making waves there. Now Shara better get moving. Yep. The way Wentland's picking these guys off. Who is Wentland battling with the there? Number 99 of John Murray Barr. So here's our leaders right in front of us coming into the Bermuda Triangle of finish line turns. Brandon Shara will reset the field. There is Shara on the blue 73 Yamaha. He just came by. There is the number 81 of Luke Vonlinger in the number two spot. And there is the 26 of Wentland about back in the number five spot as he's got the 62 of Jake Loberg, that white Husqvarna you just saw up and over the Tunnel of Love jump. Loberg was low profile. Didn't even see him sneak through. We're watching the battles up front and then behind and third right in the middle. Oh, we got him on the radar now. So what do you think? Loberg might be feeling some heat, you think? Loberg, yeah. Loberg got uh, seventh in the first moto, now sitting uh, third here in the second moto. Looking good so far. We'll see if he can keep it up. Got yeah, Wentland hot on coming. his trail. Hot on his trail, Jesse, Jesse Wentland. Wentland. All right, so Jesse Wentland trying to roll up. We got our apprentices here in the tower. Jared doing a good job with us. And I'll tell you what, as we go to the long short shoot, you can sense the urgency. Wentland, these guys have been around. These are all ex-pros. They know the score. He has got to realize that Scherer is gone. Got to at least try to get to second in this moto, but that's not going to be easy. He's got a shot, though. Yep. Wentland with a 159, a 157 for Scherer, then 159, a 58, a 59. They're all under two minutes up through the top five. So you're not just going to make up a bunch of time when you're all running the same lap time. There is Wentland on the number 26, the red Honda. Deep ruts. 
almost tiptoeing through that one. A little bit of one. a dabble there. Yeah. That cost him a point. You just did a trials event, so how many points did that just cost Wetland? Yeah, yeah, that's a one. You don't want a five out. Once you get to five, ah. they just say, that's it. You're you're, done. You're, that's like you know, when you do mini golf, and they're like, take a six. That's the most points we can even give you in this. Wetland's on the back of the motorcycle. He's starting to close in now. Yeah, he's got a shot. The crowd now kind of picking up Wetland as he works his way around the yeah, racetrack. He's got some fans out there. I can see the terrible towels flying in the background. Wetland running that inside line. He's got a nice conservative riding style. Nothing flashy about him. Just like a Jeff Stanton workman style. Yeah, you don't see him laying it over too much in nah. the corners. I think that with these ruts, they're so deep, you can't even really do that. You can actually end up scrubbing off so much speed, you're just grinding on the inside of the rut. So he's keeping the bike fairly upright, and like you said, not overly aggressive. And that actually might be the better technique. I had a joke yesterday, somebody said, uh, you can go around the billboards, there's a deep rut with braking bumps in it, and then in the braking bumps is another rut with braking bumps inside of that, extra and then bumps. another three rut inside that rut with more braking bumps in one corner. And then Superman is in there spinning or flying around the earth trying to it's reverse time. Reverse the rotation, Wow, yes. to pull Lois Lane yes. out of that. Yep. Wow. It rut is so deep, it's actually two <laughs> ruts. Double, it's a double with a rut. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, Brandon Scherer is absolutely yarding the field. Seven seconds is he out front. He's already cleared the Ten Commandments where you see our guys going in. Wendland has cleared Loberg. Did you see that He's move coming. on the inside? Did you catch that? I did not. He made the inside in what we're calling the turnstile, the Monster Energy turnstile. He just snuck inside. Bollinger, nothing he could do, but I think Bollinger wants to go back with him. The turnbuckle, as Wes Kane yes, called it. The well, they're second, third, and fourth. Yep. He's going to have a shot at second, no doubt. So Vonlinger in that white number 62 just got passed by Wentland on the number 26. Red Honda going to try to follow him to the front. Luke Vonlinger will be the next one on this list. He's number 81. He's in second, just ahead of these two. And as you mentioned, Brandon Shar, your leader, is gone. Brock Peterson would be behind this group. He's in fifth. John Murray Bar, sixth. Brad Smith, seventh. Jacob Grove, eighth. Jesse Bork ninth and Paul Parabinos running 10th. So if you are Wetland, you know if you get to second, we're all even going in that third and final mode. There's no sense in trying to kill yeah. yourself and reel in your leader and potentially go down. So Wetland needs to make one more pass and then if you freeze the field, we are all even with one, two, two, one moto scores. Obviously the story right now is Jesse Wetland trying to reel in Luke Bontlinger, but how about Robbie Madison, third place in moto one, now sitting in 13th place here in moto two. Tough, Robbie, tough, uh, Marshall, Marshall yeah. excuse yep. me. Tough, yeah. tough luck for him this moto so well, far. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because we saw Marshall running third. Then all of a sudden... Something happened. Yeah, Wendland was coming through and passed him. He went from about third, I'd say sixth instantly, and now he's already back to 13th. So tough luck for Robbie Marshall out of New England. Oh, here's your battle. It's happening. Wendland has caught Bondlinger for second. Right through the mechanics area. He doesn't even need a pit board. He knows exactly what he has to do. These guys have raced enough races to know. I need to get into that number two spot. Yeah, you know what? Probably download after the moto and say, man, I wish you had reminded me to, to breathe, go fast. relax, and flow. I need that. And find that groove. I, I didn't know that, no. and you didn't tell me. There it is. Side by side. Wetland now. Take it away. Get the call. Uh, looks like Wetland. Is that Wetland on the inside? No, that's Vonlinger yep. on the inside. Wetland trying to make a move on the outside. Just behind him, coming through the Ten Commandments. Looking Ooh. for some room to try and get past him. Wendland inside, Vonlinger outside, switching, going through that chicane. Oh, Vonlinger's got something cooking now. They are in stereo, side by side, but... Storyland. Side by side, and, looks like Wendland might get him. Vonlinger's got, a, he's got control of the inside line, for sure. Looks like Wendland made the pass. I think Chum. Vonlinger was forced to go outside. It did, I think, work out in favor of the 26. There it is. Yep. Is Second he, spot. That was amazing how they managed to cross up like that, because the way that chicane worked, yeah. Wentland was on the right. Yeah, he, he should have been on the outside. Somehow he ended up on the inside of the next corner. He's like, you're going to give me that. I will take it. Yep. Uh, and that inside around that Red Bull turnstile turnbuckle, he used that pass to get around Loberg, and then he used it to get next to Vonlinger here. Okay, so Wentland has done the work. Started fifth, drifted back to eighth, got it back together. He can He's see now him now. Second. He can look at this straight away. He can see our leader. Does he make really? a run for a couple laps? There he is. There's your leader. Now, does he make a run here for a couple laps that if he can kind of chop that lead in, maybe make a run at your leader and take the win? Not too far off. Looks like last lap. Uh, he was just about, yeah, he was about a second and a half quicker or so. That's, uh, now, that's interesting. We're five, five laps in. They'll probably go nine. Still. He chopped it down to six seconds. It was eight seconds. So Jesse Wentland wow. on the move, guys. Move for sure. That is 
almost three seconds faster than uh, Scharr and Wendland. That was his best lap of this photo so far. Now he's got clear racetrack. He's putting the hammer down. We might see another photo finish here. You got to wonder, did he just leave it all out on the racetrack? Is he going to be tired? Has spent too much energy getting in that number two spot? Time but will tell. Does not look it right now. No, not at all. Going into the 10 commandments, you pick him up, bouncing his way. Going to go inside here. Hey, just a quick note. You see that uh, pylon on the left side of the screen on Racer TV. That was our previous moto results. That's oh. not the running order here. What oh. did Wendland just do with those he 10 commandments? did not mean to face that fourth one. He just should have went ahead and committed to jump in that fourth one. Triple singled out. There's Wendland. Three and a half did. Yes, I would, I would pay the price for a week after that. Man, you know, that's one of those things. He might feel it after the moto, but during? Not now. Yep, adrenaline flowing. He's All got to go. He wants to catch Brandon Schur. Schur, it's going to haunt his nightmares if he gets uh, caught by Whitland. Again. You want to run down our top ten? Uh, as they sit now, we got Brandon Schreier coming through in the number one spot on the Yamaha. Jesse Wentland to follow in second on the Honda. Luke Vonlinger in third. Jake Loberg in fourth on the Husky. Brad Smith in fifth on the Cowie. Brock Peterson sixth. John Murray Barr in seventh on the Yamaha, the number 99. Eighth place is Paul Barajinos on the Cowie. Ninth is Kyle Gills on the Honda. And rounding out your top ten is Jesse Burkay, number 29 on Cowie. All right, working it's that happening. outside. It's, it's closed up again, guys. He's oh, down yeah. to about five seconds now is what I'm seeing here. Our leader, he's got to go. Brandon Scherer, the number 73, Yamaha. He's going to start picking him up on these straightaways. When you can see the guy in front of you, Wentland is coming. And you folks saw it at home. Just at the corner of the camera going in that last turn, you saw the 73 Yamaha of Scherer. It's the first time we had a shot that would have both Wentland and Scherer in it. Looks like he, oh, excuse me. Looks like he gained about another second and a half that last lap. Oh, well, here we go. Six laps in. This thing's going to time out for an epic, perhaps, last two laps, especially over here in these Ten Commandments. When they get down those two straightaways where they're running side by side, he can look over and spot that guy right in front of him. Yeah, and that's the motivator right there when you can see him. We talked about it. We wondered if he, the next two laps, if he could make a cut into that, he might make a run, and he's definitely doing that. But he's going to look to his right. He can see Shara right there. Yeah, I always say they don't have calculators on the handlebars. The guy gets in the second. He's got to make up. Got it. No. Oh, oh, no. Woo. That is something uh, else there. He's going to be going to the urologist after that one. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. That's he got insane. further over it. He didn't face it. This no. time he cased it, but that still had to hurt. He's still flirting with it. He knows we were talking about because Cheryl was doing it. He might think he's doing it in this one. I have not seen the video to prove that he's doing it in this moto. He's going for it. He's all in. It looks to me like he's wanting to go for the win here. As Put him I'm away. Saying, no calculators on the handlebars as he triples. It's just go as fast as you can. Don't worry about the position Finish or you. the points or anything like that. A one-two. If Wentland finished second in this one, he'd be okay in championship condition. But nope, he wants to win both motos and make life easier. While his life is harder jumping that quad. Oh. All right. He's going to have to really step it up here. He's at lap number seven now. Only a couple laps. He's trying to spot him. You saw him kind of looking up and over to his right. Yeah, we've been doing, what, nine nine or ten lap photos? Somewhere around there, depending, obviously, on the lap time of the class. So he might be looking at two to go right now. And Cher out of South Carolina. Looking sharp. No big mistakes there. Managing the race really well. It was 5.034. And it's exactly that again. 5.034. Oh, so it evened out this time. He ran a 156. Cher ran a 155. Deep into this moto, Cher is digging deep now. Five more seconds to go here, or five more, excuse me, a five second deficit here on lap seven. Needs a mistake now at this point. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to just reel him in. He needs Cher to make some sort of mistake, but he has not done it. Getting live in this moto, Brandon Schreier looking pretty clean. No major mistakes coming out of him. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Uh, as the race progresses. Yeah, gonna be two lap cards on out, so I'm gonna assume it'll be out the next time. So three laps to go or two and a half. Now we go back to Sher. Sher, your leader, dealing with some lap traffic. Man, what's cool about this, they never really saw each other in this moto. So moto three, the one time they did battle, they went across the finish side by side. Moto two, they never really got a feel for it. So the third moto, there's no way to know which guy's faster. Right. We don't know. There's well, Scherer. nerves get in the way, too, man. This, these titles mean something to these guys. You can say, ah, oh, they, they've raced a bunch of stuff. This may be one of the most important titles they'll ever win, biggest races. It's cool to win a national championship. Well, what also puts pressure on is 
in these age classes, you know, you want to do it when you're closest to the yeah. age, A, and B, you don't know who's showing up next year. So if you're in contention for it, oh. you got to take it when it's there. It could all change the next year if some other ex-pro comes sure. out that you wow. weren't expecting. Share. Man, he was silky thing. smooth when he landed, yes. though. It did not look like any sort of an impact. He is looking strong this late in the moto, hucking that big single to roller, if you will, and Wentland right behind him trying to... It should be two to go here. Yeah, Scherer looks good. He's fit, man. He's going deep into this moto. Looks like Scherer's starting to open up a little bit more of a gap than the last two laps we saw when they came through. Another 156 for Brandon Scherer, lap number eight. And Wentland will run a 157, so just a tick off, and that may be all she wrote for this one. I have to wonder if Wentland folded up the tent and said, I'll take second. He definitely has now, you can tell by watching him. But two laps ago, he was going. I wonder if uh, Scherer maybe got the word. And then he just threw in one extra heater. Why not? And that ended the charge for Wentland, and they'll save it for the third moto. How that is going to be a great show. Did you see he's yes. jumping left, lands perfectly in a rut, never put his feet down? I would have high-sided and knocked the coke right out of somebody's hand right there in that fence line. Hey, you know, there's so much talk about having the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross opener here next weekend. And obviously, this is not a pro track. And everyone's admitted that. Even MX Sports said this is a one and done. We have to race here because it's one of the few tracks where we can race. And it, uh, I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, but dude, that's a track for, you know, P-dubs and, and mini cycles. These are ex-pros on 450s. It doesn't look awkward. It I'm not, not saying that Cher and Wentland are Eli Tomac speed, but these are ex-pros. They know how to ride 450s fast, and it looks fine. I have no problem with this race happening next week. I think it's going to be great. I think the nostalgic part of it, the guys get to come back and race it one yeah. last time. I, I think it's fun. It's going to be awesome. It's definitely going to be challenging, too. Look at the sand sweep, Ricky, how rough Ricky it is. I told you this is the roughest track he's probably, the pro race he would probably ever have to do. Yeah, I mean, right now it's not at peak rough that we've no. seen this week, but we have seen it get to the point where it's as rough as anything else you're going to find. And I know it doesn't have uh, elevation change, but the roughness, uh, it's going to be a challenge. Oh, there's Cher still wow. sending it right there. And I'll say this, working this dirt throughout the week, it gets rougher. As you, the, bet, the more you work your dirt, the better it gets. So they're going to have a week's worth of just flipping and flopping and mixing all the soil together. They'll probably add some more soil to it, and it gets worked again for that Pro National. It's going to be gnarly. White flag waving now for Brandon Scherr. So I'm going to head on down to the podium. Good job up here, Jared, our Thank apprentice program. Thank you very much. Keep rolling them through, uh, teaching people all over the place. A lot of different jobs at the ranch, giving everybody a little bit of life experience. And I'm going to head to the box. All right. So one more lap to go here. He, uh, he's he got a shot now. They're all dead even. It's going to be one, two, and two one moto scores in that third and final moto. He did exactly what he wanted to do, and that was win that moto. Absolutely. We'll take a look at our top ten brought to you by Motorcycle Mechanics Institute again at Scherer and Wentland. I believe that's how it's going to finish out. Luke Vonlinger finishes third, it appears. Jake Loberg, Brad Smith, solid. He's been consistent in fifth. Brock Peterson, sixth. Kyle Gill, seventh. Nicholas Hayes, eighth. Riley Bro and Paul Parabinos will round out your top ten as the closing stages here of the Junior Plus 25 class. That is a clean motorcycle right there, guys. I believe he got the whole shot, and that bike can go right on the stand, gas it up, get it ready for the third moto. Wear that gear again if you want to. Jesse Wentland going through Storyland. He can see the light. Or Brandon Scherer, excuse me. Yep. Uh, in Storyland, seeing the light. Last lap. Got to be feeling good. Still tripling here. We'll see if he jumps that single to roller right in front of us in the big polysport sweeper. Man. That thing actually evolves. Like when you land off of that single, they all land in the same spot. They give it a little gas and they create this ginormous yep. hole. So Giant they're like, hey, I don't want to hit that. I'm just going to jump over it, land on the roller. Launch and that's it. what Cher has been doing. Smart. That clean number 73 motorcycle. That's kind of like the poster that everybody shoots. You always see a few of those shots. Nope, he did not do it this time of kids just hucking it on that bad boy. Last lab probably wants to take it easy a little yeah, bit. Yeah, don't blame him. Here we go. The Bermuda Triangle of Turns. you got to make it through this last spot there over the moat. Looks like he's going to just fine. That'll Ooh. do it. The checker flag falls for Brandon Scherer. There are your results. It's Wetland in the number two spot. And Luke Vonlinger rounds out your top three. And we'll flash those results for you right here on the screen for those of you watching. Racer TV. There it is. Brandon Scherer, Wetland, Vonlinger, Lowberg in fifth. That's your top five. <laughs> Peterson, Hayes, Gill, Grow, and Parabinos. And you can hear in the background as they fire that podium mic up. Sure is stoked. One, two, two, one moto scores. We're all tied up. We're going to have a great third moto 
And we'll send it down to the second best announcer in motocross, Jason Wigand. Hey, can you grab me a water? One, two, we're back. All right, if I'm the second best announcer, Kevin Kelly is definitely third or worse. But first in this moto, sitting on a 2 1 now and a Stasic Hole Shot Award, let's hear it for Brandon Scherer. Yeah! Hey, Brandon, I probably messed your name up for like eight years as a pro, so tell me the last name properly now for the first time. Sorry. There you go. Um, I don't know, it was just hard work over all them years. I uh, definitely didn't come out of amateurs the best rider. You know, it took me a year or two to improve and build myself and start a foundation. And, um, you know, I lasted as long as I could, and now I'm helping all the boys at SOB. Uh, you know, they, they, you know, they want to be the best, and they push me hard, too. You know, they're like, ah, oh, you should ride more than once every month, so <laughs> you might be ready for Loretta's. But, uh, no, it worked out good. I had a good, good fun ride out there. Hey, lead tip to tip, that was cool. I've never done that in my career, so All right. um, it was fun. Um, the uh, first photo was so close. Did you have extra motivation for Moto2 to get this done? You just missed that first photo. No doubt about it, yeah. for sure. You know, um, yeah, it was pretty much a heartbreaker, man, with that first photo when I got past the last corner. So um, I wanted some redemption and, you know, got a good start and just rode my race. Now help me, because I've messed up your name for years. Pronounce the last name properly so I'll forever know. Cher. Cher. All right. Got it. Uh, who do you want to thank, Brandon? Cher. Um, I want to thank, you know, my family for helping me get this far. Uh, Dad, that was for you. Um, SOB, <laughs> FXR, 6D, Asterix, Enzo, Suspension. Thank you, Ross, for all the years of work. Mika, Wiseco, Triangle, Rusty for giving me graphics. Um, Bolt Hardware, Yosh, RECMX, Watts Performance. Razor Imaging, thanks for the helmet, it looks sick. Um, and yeah, everybody else in my corner, everybody, thank you very much. Brandon Scher. <laughs> He's got the second moto, so now we got a tie. The championship scenario will bring Jesse Wentland on up now for a second. Really good comeback for Jesse. Let's bring up second place. That was an awesome comeback. Uh, we had him as far back as eighth, I think, on the second lap. And Jesse was able to recover and keep the tie going into the third moto with this silver medal. We got a 2-1 and a 1-2. That'll be fun. Come on up. Jesse's getting his goggles and everything set up. Okay, so we got second place, our first moto winner, making a comeback ride to salvage it. Let's hear it for Jesse Wentland. What happened early on in that one? I think you actually lost a few spots, right? Yeah, no, I just got uh, pinched in the start a little bit and uh, had to come through, got up to sec <clears throat> second, but uh, it was too far gone. I spent a little bit of my energy fighting yeah. through the pack and uh, came always second. I gotta be happy with that and uh, being back at the ranch and yeah, just having fun. I want to ask the guys in your class, you're on a 450, you used to race pro. We're going to have a pro national here. What is this track like for a rider at your level in a 450? What do you think it might look like uh, next weekend when the pros are out here? Does it work for you? Yeah, I mean, for a 450, it's a little bit tight. Yep. But I think the 250 class will enjoy it. The 450 class, they'll have to search around the track for lines and smooth spots. And it, uh, it'll probably get as just, just as rough as it is this week. So. Um, should be some good racing to watch on TV or if you're staying here to yep. watch it. So, How does the roughness compare to what you did at the pro level? <sighs> Pretty dang close. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the way they're grooming the track with that tiller, it's unreal how deep it is. So it's making big bumps and making it for tight racing. It's good. It's cool. All right, thanks for that analysis. Who do you want to thank, Jesse? Uh, Mo Tools, Sag Tools. Uh, they've been helping me out for many years back in my professional uh, racing career and uh, FXR. Uh, my mom and dad, my wife, Coastal Clean team, my sister, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, Nitro Lubricants, Dunlop, Renthal, Twin Air, uh, Works Connection, um, everyone else, thanks. Jesse Wetland, second place. Fun class always to watch that 25 plus. We'll bring our third place rider on up.
The 81 is third in this one. Another rider remember from the pro days. Let's hear it for Luke Follinger. How was that, Moto Luke? Uh, it was pretty good. I actually got a decent start that time. Followed right in behind Brandon, and we just kind of set sail. I tried to set sail. He gapped me a little bit, but tried to hang tight. Finished third there. Yeah, got in the box. Who do you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank Talib Honda, Buddy Brooks, FXR, 60, Scott, Atlas Brace, Hoosier Tire, uh, BBMX Schools, my wife, my mom, my dad, my brother, uh, his wife and his little boy are here this week. So, uh, Recluse, just anybody else I forgot, thanks. There it is, folks. Luke Pollinger, third.